Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's going to be a bit of a negative video. Uh, I'm going to be talking about products that I don't think are worth the hype. Um, they're not necessarily bad products, but they're just things that I don't think are worth the money or things that I think there are better things, um, better alternatives to. So let's get started. My first product is the Original Bare Minerals Foundation. Um, this is a loose mineral uh, foundation that you swirl your brush in there and you buff all over your face. This promises to be a really full coverage foundation. Um, it can cover up redness, scars, anything supposedly. It's supposed to give you a really uh, velvety, perfected look and it's also supposed to be really good for your skin. Um, this just looks really patchy on me. Um, it clings to weird areas even if I use a good primer underneath. I find that this does not come anywhere near full coverage, and I also don't love the staying power. I put my makeup on around 6 or 6.30 in the morning, um, I would say by 11 a.m. This will have almost completely worn off in my T-zone, even if I'm not super oily that day, or if it's not super hot that day. I've given this so many chances, I've used this on and off for about um, a year and a half maybe. Um, I've used this when I'm oily, dry, combination, in hot weather, in dry, cold weather. Um, I've just never been able to make this work, so this is a no for me. My second product I no longer have because I used it for a couple of weeks and I thought, mm, I think I have something really similar, um, so I'd rather have the money. <laughs> Um, and that would be the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I know that a lot of people absolutely love that palette, and I do think that the eyeshadow quality is really good. Um, it's very soft and very blendable, very pigmented, but I feel like if you're going to come out with a neutral palette so many years after the original Naked Palette came out and became so popular, um, I want to see some new, exciting neutral colors that I haven't seen before which I think might be difficult because there are so many neutral palettes out there, but I think it can be done. I've done a blog post about this, which I'll link to down below, but the Chocolate Bar palette has a lot of overlap with the Original Naked palette and also the Lorac Pro palette. Um, they all have, you know, kind of these, like, a lot of these, like, bronzy colors, golds, um, and, like, a wide, wide range of browns. Um, so I feel like if you have either of these, or both of them, which I think a lot of people do, um, the Too Faced Chocolate Art Palette isn't a totally worthwhile purchase just because you're going to have a lot of these colors already. The third and final product that I'm going to talk about, um, I don't have anymore either for the same reasons why I don't have the Chocolate Art Bar Palette anymore. I just felt like I had something that was really similar, that was way, way cheaper, and that would be um, the Marc Jacobs Lolita palette. It's one of those um, seven pan um, eyeshadow palettes and Sir Neutral palette. Um, and I think it's so similar to the original Too Faced Natural Eye palette. Um, I also did a blog post about this, um, which I'll link to down below too. Um, but man, some of these colors in here are almost identical to the ones in the Marc Jacobs palette. The only color that you're not getting in here that is in the Lolita palette is this um, light iridescent shimmery pink, which, um, I mean, if you don't have that color, I don't think it's worth getting an entire palette for. Too Faced recently came out with a new version of the Natural Eye palette, uh, but they really only changed two colors. One of them is um, this color called Velvet Revolver. Um, it's now a little bit darker, but I think it's still pretty similar. And another one will be this color called Nude Beach. It's super, super glittery. Um, it's now a sh light shimmery brown. They also supposedly changed this one called Cocoa Puff, but it's still, you know, like a medium to dark brown with golden shimmer. So it's the same color. I'm pretty sure they just renamed it. I think even if you get the new natural eye palette, um, you can still get a decently similar look. Another thing about the Marc Jacobs palette that I don't so much like is that um, there are a lot of light shimmery colors, but only one medium color and one dark color. So it really limits the versatility of that palette and you're not going to get nearly as many looks as you would 
um, with the Too Faced Natural Eye Palette. So I would say if you already have the Too Faced Natural Eye Palette, um, leave the Marc Jacobs. You already have those colors plus more. Um, or if you're kind of eyeing the Marc Jacobs palette, you like those colors, um, get the new version. You can still get a decently similar look and it's so much cheaper. So that's it for this video, guys. Um, I really had a tough time deciding what products to include in this video because makeup is so personal preference and these aren't necessarily bad products. They just haven't worked out for me. So thanks so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.